put on uh, a five phases, we call it. Um, basically, uh, this is, so he's gonna put the MWD in either a sit or down and uh, come out and pat me down, make sure that I don't have anything on me, weapons, anything that could hurt anybody. Sarah, come back, hold this dog! Always my dog! Get him! Good boy! Good boy! What you do is you you put your your cheek in, look down the rectum, yeah. your coat. So they send out a coat saying, "Hey, I'm friendly, right I'm friendly, right I'm friendly." Oh, I wonder how you that. determined which there's, was there's friendly. A little black not this is and okay, we have go. large nope. radar systems right that actually right there. Hit that. classify. So, and, so, no, this is a friendly phone. You just have to get it close and walk on and then fire. Have you guys practiced with these? Yeah, the four tempo positive. Yeah, definitely have. She holds it all by herself. Yeah. With my left hand so though, right left here, hand, right here, right in front. Right front. Right okay, yep. okay. Now you want to bring your cheek up and place your cheek on that little spring-loaded mat. Yeah, and then you're looking through the rectal now. Okay. Yes, I would love this to come back. Okay, this is neat. This is awesome. Okay. Let me help you. Think. I was also um, an ROTC instructor at two universities. I was at the University of Santa Barbara, California, so I know how higher education works. And I was also an instructor at Ball State University, right up the road. So uh, I was part of that program as well. Whenever I retired from the Army in 2010, I became a JROTC instructor because I wanted to be a teacher, and that's what I like doing. So I taught at Arsenal Tech for two years, and then I taught at Thomas Carr Half for, for four years. I know very little, and I'm excited to learn more about it uh, during the next few days. I wish I could say I knew all about it, but honestly, I don't. My perception of the Army, I guess, has, has changed over the years. But right now, you know, one of the reasons I'm... Okay, a lot of the things that I've learned today are all the opportunities uh, scholastically, you know, with college and, and actual training that they can come out of the military with. Uh, I didn't realize there's 150 different types of jobs in the Army. And, you know, they come out with all these certifications and ways to go to work into the world of work along with being, you know, a lot of their college being covered. Um, I've just learned how exciting it really can be and that really 10% is battle, 90% are jobs and things that people actually get into. And I think as parents, many times they are very, very afraid for their child, you know, to enlist because they see only 90% battle, which is really not it. And uh, I think if we can dispel that and educate parents and educate students more to the good things that are there and the positives, that it will help us. So today we're hosting approximately 25 educators from across the greater Indianapolis metro area to include up towards Lafayette, down towards Shelbyville, all the way over towards Richmond, in order to help share our Army story with them. And I'm talking about our Army story as individuals, as well as an institution, to really show them the educational benefits that the Army provides, whether that's Army certifications, whether that's future college education, it's the skills and things that the Army does for our soldiers in order to help make them better people both as soldiers and as civilians when they finish up their time in the army and so we're sharing that with them today because we have a vested interest that their students cross the stage to become better civilians and for some of them we hope to become better army soldiers in the future
So, so today they're going to get to experience a few different things. They're going to get to see some of our great military working dogs at work. They're also going to get to see um, a simulator that our soldiers would use to learn how to train on things like air defense artillery um, to include stinger missiles. So those are things if we were to have incoming uh, enemy in the air, how do we take care of that from an army perspective? So they're going to see that. They're going to get to see what we teach every soldier when it comes to basic life-saving skills and to be able to show them that this is what every soldier learns and it's something that we could actually come and teach in their schools to help them learn it as part of a health class or, or any of those type of initiatives. Um, we're going to show them a little bit about what Army Reserve Engineers do and we're going to talk to them in depth about the different opportunities that exist for education with, within the Army and we're going to actually do that by having a panel of soldiers from across a variety of different fields be able to share how the Army has helped them advance in education. So the Army offers a wide range of everything. It will offer you education because it's going to teach you how to do a skill. And when I say a skill, we have 150 different types of jobs. If you think about what the Army has on the combat side, we have that. But if, if you can think of any job that's required in a city to run a city, the Army has that too. Whether that's an engineer, whether that's going to be supply specialist and logistics organizations, whether that it comes down to the communications equipment. Uh, of course, everybody's heard of different cyber pieces these days. We have all of that in the Army. The Army will teach you that skill. It will also give you a great sense of adventure because you're going to do fun and crazy things and you're going to do some hard things that will make you a better person and grow you and it is going to give you the best friends that you've ever had because you're going to go through those hard things with the best team that you ever could be with and that's the United States Army. Outstanding. And ma'am, real quick, I'm just going to lock in you out one more second. It looks like we're good. I just want to make sure we're solid here. Cool. So ma'am, real quick, what, what, is it just active? Just here? What, what, what does, the, does the Army have full-time or, or part-time options? So that's the great thing about the Army is we're talking about the active, but we're also talking about the Army Reserve, and we're actually doing this in an Army Reserve Center here in Indianapolis, Indiana, because we do have part-time jobs for the Army where you get to serve and be a soldier, but that you also get to be a citizen as well and to do those things on a regular basis. You can do both, and you can still get all of those benefits that the active duty side gets by going on the Army Reserve side of the house. So we absolutely have Army Reserve opportunities, and we're excited to share those with the educators today. Yes, ma'am. Um, I joined above all. I wanted to serve the country. I also joined, um, it comes with a lot of benefits, especially for college. You'll pay for your college in full, and that was a big factor for me was to have college money so I can go and get a degree and really just better my career and my life in general. Um, I am very excited. I'm also a little bit nervous, of course. There's always going to be like a few butterflies in my stomach. That's just how it comes. Um, but I'm ready to get it done. I've been waiting for a long time just to go to basics, so. I'm just ready, just wanna go. <laughs> so today we're doing what's called an Army Educators Tour, which is where we showcase uh, Army career opportunities and bring in educators and show them the, let me start that over. Yeah, we, hey, we, I see you wanna talk with hands, feel free. Yeah. Okay, okay, good, I'm not, I'm a hand talking mark kind of person. So one of the things that we do is we bring in educators into an Army environment and we showcase Army career opportunities with them. And one of the ways that we do that is by bringing in uh, various units and having those soldiers tell their story about what they do as a career in the military as well as, the, as well as their career on the outside because a lot of the soldiers that these educators are going to see today are Army reservists and so they have civilian jobs as well. And so they're going to share their Army experiences, their Army career path, what they, why they, what they did and why they chose to do it. And then a lot of the educators to take away from that, the understanding of the Army is uh, a career path for a lot of individuals that just haven't had the opportunity to see it yet. What we're doing today is bringing in a uh, handful of educators to actually showcase with them um, Army careers in engineering, air defense, finance, uh, medicine, and uh, uh, a couple others also maintenance as well to show them that there are 150 plus career fields that are out there available for applicants that want to explore the United States military and having these educators then take back with them to their schools and the programs the need to bring more recruiters into their schools to have the applicants to have the students uh, receive more opportunities to learn about the, the career pathways within within the United States Army. 